would you do the same? If I told you my story, would you do the same? Would you help me, even though you don't know my name? Would you lift me up from the fly farming? Now I know I don't know you, but I know that I need you. I have lived this life with all I need, but I give to you. It comes back to me. I'm standing tall. I'm high above. I will lift myself to raise you up. To put your hand in my hand. The sky. Never mind, you live and get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Get to Gino's spot. Gino's spot. Have a laugh, have a giggle, and exercise your middle. Have a Gino shot. Gino Spot. That is uh, normally a Tuesday night. I know it's normally Tuesday night, but tonight is Monday. So don't well, worry, you don't have to reset your clocks. We're not changing for, for daylight saving or anything. We are Monday night because tomorrow I leave for Cape Town and I'm going to be there for an entire week until next Tuesday. Um, and so we, we've done a Monday and we're going to rebroadcast tomorrow night, Tuesday as well. So don't fear if you're missing it. Tonight, you can, well, you, you wouldn't be watching it if you were missing it tonight. So, you know, if you can't hang around, well, then you can watch it tomorrow as well. So, Gino Spot, every single Tuesday, usually half past six, every single Tuesday, half past six, uh, interviewing people from around PE, Gobecha, uh, Nelson, Nelson Mandela, Bay, or East London, or Queenstown, or Fort Beaufort, or up in Grahamstown, wherever you are, uh, Port Alfred, St. Francis, we have had people from all over the place. Uh, from our local area, that's where we look at. Uh, generally, we try and find people of interest that, uh, that that live in our area and live with us, and and that we can actually, if we've got businesses, then we can support them because we need to do that. We need to pull together as a uh, as as a team, an NMB or an Eastern Cape team that helps uh, that uh, that supports each other, each other with our businesses. We're well, not only with business, but with just in general. So um, so make sure that you watch Gino Spot every Tuesday night at half past six. And subscribe to YouTube if you're watching on Facebook. Uh, it's fine. You can watch on Facebook. I'm not going to moan. No, I'm not really moan about you now. But you can watch on YouTube, which is actually much better because you can click on the little bell and then it reminds you every single week. 
uh, about you know it reminds reminds you um, to to pop on and it pops up on your on your phone. So because the, that's where you spend most of your days and nights, isn't it? These days, everybody's glued to their phone. Ha! Oh, that's why we are we are heading towards a, a global takeover where we rely so much on these on these uh, social media platforms like Facebook and it's Instagram and X or whatever it's called now. I don't know, Elon Musk. I mean, um, we, I wish that we could have a, a local Facebook. And in fact, I have found that Alan, Alan Stratton, who used to run my PE, has actually got, he's, he's been busy with a, 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 a local um, sort of social media kind of uh, thing as well, where, where if local people join, we can all, you have to be from an area. If you join in, then uh, we can possibly try something like that. Oh, that amazing, but you know, we, we, there's always a, always a way, uh, is always a boor marker plan. We can do something. Um, I just, uh, must, must tell you our, our sponsors, Fitch and Leeds, Fitch and Leeds. Thank you very much to Fitch and Leeds and to, and to Sovereign as well, who've been helping us out with our live shows and, and then a Mobia for our internet. Thank you very much. And not forgetting tonight. Grace, Grace brought in fat cat, brought us a little bit of food. Look at the greens. Look at the greens, people. I'm very, very healthy. <laughs> yes. So let me know. Let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing. Thank you to Grace and fat cats. Fat cats, fantastic. Lovely little munchies tonight. Um, let me know where you're watching from and what, you, what you're drinking. Well, I've got a little g and a little fit you need, which I thought maybe I'll get a little G&T going here. Yeah? And uh, have a lovely Monday night. We're going to uh, tonight. Wayne Callis, Wayne Callis is back from, um, from overseas. He went over the seas and, and actually on the seas. He's been on cruising, cruising for the last little while. And we're going to chat to him and find out all his, find out about his adventures over the seas. And, uh, so yes, oh, don't forget artificial intelligence at Remos. Remos se come to artificial intelligence for May. Don't forget. Don't forget the 4 May, go to Remos. You can get tickets from Wendy uh, or you can get tickets at, at Quicket. Get a nice little table. Get a table to you. Come and support. Come and support me. Come. I need, I, need your, I need people to come to the show to enjoy, have a good time and have a bit of a laugh. Brand new show. Lots of new characters, including Dolores and Winifred uh, of uh, well, our Goa fame these days. And, uh, and a whole bunch of other characters as well. as a whole lot of music, sing-alongs. It's, it's a, a non-stop train ride, smorgasbord of comedy and music and song. And it's great fun. So get yourself a table together. 4th of May, easy to remember. 4th of May, book now so that you don't miss out. Remos at Remos. It's a, it's a great venue as well. Beautiful food, lovely. Italian, a beautiful Italian food. Too much talking cock here at the moment. Let me get my guest on. We'll start out with a little song. I think we're going to do that. How about that? Ooh, welcome to the show. Now it's your turn to shine. You're going to have a lucky chat tonight. Another good time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sound any different? Yeah. I've, been, I've been gone for a while. I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, uh, you picked up a bit of an accent then? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, no. <laughs> that was a Ted section. Pretty terrible. Love it. Yeah. Yes, you know, I, I love that song. Me too. Jeez. Actually, that that was a lot of fun. Yeah. That that is a uh, uh, it's a seminal South African. Um, Absolutely. Uh, makes you feel. It's hard not to feel connected cry. to it. <laughs> makes you cry if you're not at home. <laughs> I see Warren Forbes already saying he's feeling homesick. Yeah. <laughs> I check that book. Don't worry. We still are okay here in the Eastern Cape, Warren. <laughs> yeah, we, listen, we moan, we moan, but let us step out of the country and we moan even more. <laughs> hey, Rob Taylor. How's it, Rob? Watching from a plate of spaghetti. Very nice. I'm very glad. Pat Wood. How's it from Sundridge Park? Yeah, we're all, we're all over the world here today. You know? Sundridge Park. Is yeah. it? It's windy. How many front of house ladies there? I don't, I don't know. If uh, that must, we, we hope they're all on the, on tonight. Charles, how's it, Charles? Lynn Williams, hello, Lynn. Nice to see you as well. Lynn's a regular. I see uh, they've noticed our Johnny and uh, 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 Freddie Mercury jackets. Yes, I hope they've noticed that. <laughs> yes, yes. And there's Oneska, how's it, Oneska, and Garth Webster, how's it, Garth? You know, jacket. Yo, I thought we'd, we'd do, because we're going to be doing um, Wild Wayne's Down, we're going to be doing Magnificent Seven here as well. Um, and uh, so we, so I thought maybe we'd use the Freddie jackets tonight. <laughs> Shock, kids, kids, kids. Uh, yes, Wayneo. <laughs> hey, 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 what's up? Mm. A dead Fosley, Fosley how's it? A dead. dead. You're used to this stuff. I mean, you do stuff yeah, in COVID. Yeah. Carol Jacobs, all the way from East London. My yeah. favorite comment is I look a bit over L cold and undernourished. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the bad camera angle. Oh, no. bad Making angle. me homesick. Shamini Hector, love hey. the jacket. Thank you very much. That's a good one. Shamini, mm. she, uh, she used to run the three legged, not the three, the, the uh, Dizzy uh, Dolphin. She's, oh, gonna, no. she's gonna make me the dizzy, dizzy dolphin. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. She's and, the same German, you know. Okay, and, and Deutschland, very nice. 
And I see uh, uh, Charlotte, hey, 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 Charlotte is also saying she's missing, missing the beach. I said, right. I think you calling me there. <laughs> He's right here. Hey, Vanessa, hello. Vanessa Bonamara, how's it? How's it? Uh, Ingrid Kriev, hello, Ingrid. Uh, I see uh, Andrew's doing another interview there. Uh, you can post post that link. Um, that another chap saw interviewing Andrew Kriev. What a legend. Andrew. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Moi Jacket, donkey, donkey for you. And Carol Jean. And Aneska, welcome home. Thank you, Aneska. Hey, Warren uh, Oates. Warren Oates. Watching from Spain. Mamma mia. Oh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to say any of the Spanish words that I used to remember. <laughs> Did you learn? <laughs> I learned a couple. How's it, Wendy? Uh, watching from Bojo. Bojo. That, that sounds like one of those words. Yeah, Bojo. Sounds Bojo. like that stuff you put in your teeth or something. Um, welcome Bojo. back, Sharon. Trotsky, excellent. Brendan Kelly, how's it, Brendan? Nice to see you. I wonder if he's away again. When he's away, I go and visit his wife, you know. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, you know, Len, Len Murdoch there as well. I see how's it, Len from, from East London. I know we're, we're doing all the greetings now. It's fine. We, we, we're going to do them all. I'm sure we're going to get lots of comments during the, during the evening. How's it, Joan from Sovereign? Thank you. Thank you, Joan. Lovely, uh, you know. This yeah, reminds me of, like minutes is reminds me of when you guys used to you used to do, we used to do the 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 COVID uh, the COVID, the COVID sessions, Yeah, so. it, it, it's it's yeah, amazing. It's yeah. such a vibe. It, it yeah. kind of feels like it doesn't exist anymore, and yet you're I know. I know. <laughs> and, you're, and and, and, and well, Genus puts continue, but it, it's kind of like um, I mean, it's, it all started in that in that mm. time. I remember you used to do those long uh, those those music sessions. That was that pop up that pop up my feet every now and then. I'm like, yeah. I can't believe I sat for three hours. Three hours, I know. Next to a fire, just getting absolutely. <laughs> Been tipsy. <laughs> tipsy. But anyway, but anyway, I'm like, hey, it's good. this is this is my last song, guys. Sorry, but I love you when no, but this is my last song. You're know, stumbling over your words, and I was like, and and it's, I mean, but we had nothing else to do. You know, so yeah, it was crazy. it was a hell of a good time. But it, also, also, I think it, it it certainly showed me at the time when you, because you, you certainly were the one that jumped on first, you know, with that with that stuff, and and I thought, you know, Wayne's doing this, I can, I think I can do something, <laughs> yeah. and um and and it was like it was so cool because the interaction was so nice. Yeah, you know? people used to they have their own little conversations in the comments. <laughs> and, it, it was like it was like the virtual version of going out and seeing all your buddies. Yeah, you know, still people yeah. talking in the yeah. background as well. So that, that, a lot of the time it was, I mean, there was a lot of the time it was focused on what, what you or yeah. I were doing. Yeah. But a lot of the time it was sort of, that was the, the joy was in the comments. Yes, Everyone was yes. like, hey, you're here too. What you doing there? Yeah, exactly. I'm making supper. I'm getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bra, yeah. whatever. You, know, you can see the, Oaks, the, the comments start to make less sense as the yeah. night goes on. <laughs> Yes, Dean Roberts, if you, if you hear, I'm talking specifically about you. Uh, Dean Roberts, yes, oh, <laughs> he used somebody to, tag he used to, him. used to call it fat fingers. And you go, oh, I'm sorry, I've got fat fingers tonight. No, you don't. You've got <laughs> lots of booze. <laughs> oh, man. And, and what a pleasure to have you on tonight because... Uh, man, thank you. Yes. This is... This is the you know, uh, whenever I'm with Wayne, um, if I'm if we're not with Wayne, we actually have to make some sort of like we make a group now with Mike McCauley and, yeah, and a couple yeah. of other acts where we and Donovan where we where we just we, talk we talk nonsense. You know, we send <laughs> jokes that we know we all find funny and nobody else will. <laughs> it's that it's been that long, you know. I think we get cancelled if anyone had to see you know, uh, those <laughs> groups. <laughs> I know. And and I, I mean, you've just come back now for uh, how, how to, when did you arrive back like two Monday. days ago? No, no, I've been here for a week today okay. exactly. Yeah. Mm. But I, I think I've been asleep for exactly half of that. All <laughs> oh, right. Okay. And where, where, where did you come right from? Where did you go fly out of? So uh, I disembarked at Galveston, Texas. Which Galveston. That, yeah, that's where the, it's a little island off Texas. Okay. That's where the breeze sails from. But I, I, I then went and spent the day with the my... The breeze is the boat. The breeze. The breeze. Okay. The, um, <laughs> we well, that a, was not we just got a We just got a thing to say. <laughs> we're going to move closer together. So the breeze, the, the yeah, the, the, the carnival breeze was the one I was on. The carnival, okay, yeah, because the carnival, the, the carnival is the, is the company name, yeah. Okay, okay. So they, well, then all the ships have different names, so, and they obviously different different places. So the uh, Galveston, yeah, was where we were. So I'd like, technically, I was supposed to just get on a shuttle and go straight to the airport, but I had the whole day to spend some. Like my brother, who lives in Houston, oh, and this is exactly the second time I've ever visited his family, picking up from the um, from the from the port. Yeah. We spent the day we had lunch. How far is it from Houston? Listen, man, Texas is big. <laughs> like I thought, Joe Big is big. Texas yeah. is like, like we. He said, "No, oh, we're going to meet the family for lunch," and we're driving. And I went, oh, "How long? How far away?" And he went, "Oh, it's just about another hour." 
<laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. So like it takes us the the, the, the myths aren't completely myths. It, oh, right, it's, okay. it's huge. No, Houston is crazy. Me. Like there's there's one section of, of freeway where uh, it's six lanes on either direction. Yeah. <laughs> the bikes. Yeah. Six lanes in six, either six, direction. I mean, it might be more, but it's at least six. Right. Like, uh, like that's... You so traffic see... jams or traffic jams there? Man, oh, it's a different story. Really? So, and you can see the way they drive. They're like, someone will just cut across like three lanes. Like over here, like even that's, that's even a little bit too far. Yeah, yeah. Over there, it's like, nah. Just, oh, in, just in another American SUV swinging across three lanes on <laughs> the big old freeway. So, so they drive quite hectically. Right? Like I would, like that, that, that day was driving me back to the airport and I was like, it was, it was kind of freaking me out. Yeah. Because you kind of take it as sort of aggressive. Yeah. Like, yeah, if someone had to drive that way, you'd, you'd think, okay, this oak has now got a problem with me. Yeah. But it's not, it's just, <laughs> it's just going. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, like, it's not the same sort of traffic as Asia. Yeah. Asia is pure uh, chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, seen those, I've seen those videos. I, I, I don't know how that, it's organized chaos. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's, this is far more organized, but it's just, it's on a yeah, huge okay. scale. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, it, yeah. do you spend a lot of time on land or as well? Uh, do you spend a bit of time? We, we get to spend uh, every port day mm. on land, um, unless you port manning. The port manning is basically um, by maritime law. Everything on the boat happens according to maritime law. Okay. So um, by maritime law, uh, there has to be a certain amount of people on board the ship at any oh. time. For instance, just in case like a fire breaks out while you're docked or whatever. Okay. So that means every now and then you get told, okay, you're not allowed to disembark today. Mm-hmm. So luckily mine was always in Galveston. Okay. I got a bit tired of Galveston. Okay. <laughs> right. But uh, I would like, yeah. So and your boat, didn't, your boat didn't ride into the bridge. That wasn't us. Yes, <laughs> but the the um, she's like that was the the girl that joined us towards the end of the contract was on that boat. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So they, um, they had like they had a thing called Rock the Rock something to do with rock, and and they had a couple of bands on there, um, like a couple of metal bands, I think. <laughs> and then what happened was the the sea was too rough, and I keep on doing that. <laughs> Did I just bump the pop shield? Bump, pop shield off, yeah. Sorry. And um, the uh, traffic circles. <laughs> no, there's no traffic circles. No traffic circles. Not that no I can recall. Circles. <laughs> um, and then uh, I thought groupies. No, no, you know, I'm throwing the shade today. <laughs> really but um, yeah, so like, we, we, we get to spend basically all the time the guests get, yeah. get to spend in port. We get to spend that time as well. Okay. So okay. you'll get back on board time, which you do not, not miss. miss. No. Yeah, the ship yeah. will leave you there. Yo. And we will, or you automatically lose your job. Okay. Like automatically. Oh, okay. So you just, you not only get left behind. Can I take your free jacket off? Yes, just, yeah. <laughs> it's quite hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, okay. So, so you don't, uh, I mean, obviously that's very strict. And, and you say maritime more than the law, the, 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 the captain is, is like God. You know? Well, there is also the, um, you get what's called the staff captain, which is not a position I never knew about. Yeah. So the, the captain is in charge of all the, the, basically the nitty gritty of running a ship, mm. the staff captain is in charge of the people on board. So okay. the staff captain, the, the captain doesn't deal with us so okay. much, Okay. but the, the staff, staff captain, captain does. does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But both of them, it, it's like, they are the, the final word. All right. So they can, they can marry you or kill you or whatever they need to do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Have you ever, what about people getting chucked off the boat and stuff? I mean, the experience uh, We didn't have, it off man overboard often happens man overboard so we did have we no. did have, oh, it happens all the time really all the time like some of the guys are saying this is the first contract that they got through when we didn't have a man <laughs> overboard but um Jeez. um so what happened was the one day we were outside cosmo we're about to dock yeah and then you get normally you get guest service they said this message is for such, such and such a person this person's name was taylor she's okay. never going to watch a stream so i'm like, okay yes this this is for taylor okay. so then now that this wakes us up at about five in the morning, then, then we keep on getting messages for Taylor. Then eventually the cruise director comes on. I don't know if you know. The, the cruise, cruise director, director. Yeah, cruise director for, for the entertainment and stuff. Yes, yes. So, okay. he, he, so then he comes on and he goes, Taylor, uh, we, we're still looking for you. You're not in trouble. We just want to know that you're safe. Please. And this carries on for about an hour. Wow. Okay. And then uh, and like you know. they, they, every, about every 10 or 15 minutes, they repeat that message. We just want to know you're safe. Um, and then we uh, could all heads of the department please report to, to the uh, guest services. They're going to start searching cabin by cabin. And as they started the cabin by cabin search, she pops out. She was in someone else's cabin. 
Oh. <laughs> and her, like her husband didn't know where she was. Oh. So we all thought she was man overboard. Oh my God. But she was over a man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear <laughs> that was a uh, that was Yo, okay, quite a that's thing really interesting yeah. the whole the whole flipping ships looking <laughs> so uh, what the, they call it the they call it the blues cruises um mm -hmm. it's not not officially but like uh the short cruises the people who obviously yeah. book, like book it for like a like a bachelor party or a, or a hen party or a birthday party a couple of days yeah so we we had our cruises were alternately four or five days Okay. So um, we had we had a lot of party. <laughs> yeah, a lot of party. And the, the and you're the center of the party. Well, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. So the the rock band. So everything on the ships has a very specific title. Yeah. Like the so we played in a spot called Ocean Plaza, and what Ocean Plaza is, um, the the middle deck. Yeah. Because um, there's ten guest decks. Okay. The middle deck is deck five, and Ocean Plaza is in the middle of deck five. Okay. So to get anywhere, you kind of go through. And that's where the cocktail so the, was. everybody has to go down to five and then go across no no, no, you, go, no you can you can yeah. take other i mean okay like if if you want to walk from the theater to um maybe the casino or something, okay then you're going to pass that yeah yeah um and so uh the, the cocktail bar was there as well so that's where everyone hung out for cocktails whatever right. we, we would play yeah. so the, the 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 kind of crowd we had would vary depending on the night yeah if, if something massive was going on somewhere else then okay. it wouldn't be yeah, be quiet there. But but sometimes obviously there's nothing going on and then everyone's partying over there. Yes, yes. So it's 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 very it's a, <laughs> it's a new, I tell you what it's, it's a, I've done a lot of band gigs, I've done a lot of solo gigs. Yeah. Uh I've done a lot of all sorts of things. That's a whole new skill set. I have okay. to learn. Because you're basically you're direct like you're directing a band, a whole bunch of people who are more they're sort of more focused on what they're doing so in terms of the the crowd and guest interaction the two it's of us up front that's us we have to lead yeah. we have to lead that mm -hmm. and if we don't do it it's either going to be there's no interaction or yeah. you can overdo it and like yes. end up looking a little bit desperate for attention yes you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah, you got yeah, to play yeah. that yeah you got to play that thing and it, it took me a while <laughs> yeah is it you just try yeah, to go yeah. on man I, let's go I, I was i was frustrated being because i like I, I didn't know okay so first of all, I thought, okay, that's what it is. They've always got to be playing. No, oh, they don't. Then, I, then I realized that uh, sometimes it's so a hang back, hang back, yeah. hung back. Yeah, so hang back a bit. Hang back a bit too much. And I thought, okay. okay, now you have to. It's all about engagement, and it's yeah. and it's not it's not like something I've ever done before. It's a yeah. whole separate skill. Okay, okay. Which I, I finally got right toward towards the last couple of days of yeah. my contract. We, 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 you, you've you've got to just. Play it easy, so I suppose there's got to be some interaction all the time. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. if they start responding, then you, yeah, then you. Well, that's up. what it is. It's like you, you, you give them something to react to, and then you, you gauge how they react back to you. Yeah, yeah. but you can never just hang back. Like you have yeah, to engage. Yeah. Yes. You have to send that little bit for them to to, yes. to latch on. Some, to. It's almost like checking out a, a yeah, fishing yeah. line to see. And it's it's easy at the beginning to to just when you're like, oh, yeah. I'm, there we go, Rochelle Roth. She says, so well done, the USA national song. How did it feel to sing? I was, I was telling you. Yes, so the, was. the first time I did it, so the, the, the anthem they played once per cruise, there's a thing called the military appreciation. So anyone who was ever is involved with the military, they, they, they gather there and they share stories, whatever. Yeah. But it always starts with the, the national anthem. Um, and uh, they get basically what per cruise, someone will get assigned to sing it. Yeah. So the first time I did it, like, I still said to them, we're like, what, what's the dress code? And they're like, no, just smart casual. I pitched up there, I was wearing like a suit jacket and a, a t-shirt. And I was, I was wearing boots, I was wearing my Doc Martens. Yeah. And I could actually, like I was singing, I know American, the anthem is a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, could yeah. literally feel my feet shaking in my boots. <laughs> I was literally quaking in my boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's one person that can get it right because I, I mean, I, the words, the, I, would, I wouldn't be able to learn the words, man. I, yeah, the, the, the words, the, the, the rhyme scheme is very simple. <laughs> yeah. Is it gleaming or is it streaming? Or like, you can like, you can fit it anywhere and, and you might well be wrong. <laughs> well, I, was, I, I got it wrong once because I, I was with an American mate in, in England once and he was, and I said, uh, what's, where's the part with the buffalo roam? And he said, no, <laughs> It's home on the range, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I see some some comments here. Let's have a look. Warren says, "Record me in the Blue Lagoon Hotel." Ooh. Yo, yes. Yeah. Security like, remembers those oh, as well. Oh, nice conversations. The, the Highlander, the Highlander, the Blue Lagoon. Oh Jeez, my. Yeah. 
That's the, <laughs> that's the spot after our shows. There's other cases and fish and leaders that deliver. Excellent, Dion. I'm glad. <laughs> I know we've got a great sponsor, yes. Uh, Duane, just have to say the best DJ I ever had on a golf day. <laughs> I, I'm used to being called that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and they said the interaction of the crowd is amazing. And then they're linking, they're linking that to the MC as well. So yeah, like, yeah. No, that's the no, right. I, I remember that. There was um, the whole thing like, so like, for instance, the, when the MC is doing his thing, you back him up with the music and all that yes, stuff. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay. I, remember, I remember that. Okay. Dion, I remember Dion telling me that, yeah. <laughs> like, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, I've, I've, always, I've always said as well, I mean, uh, with, with Center Stage here, um, we, we learn a certain way of doing things, we're yes. interacting with the crowd. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure it's, um, I'm sure, you know, it's, it's interesting to do all of a sudden go and play with a whole bunch yeah. of new people. So what's interesting as well is that you, you realize you get, it's people from around the world yeah. and they all have their own way of doing things. Yeah. And what I've noticed, a lot of musical theater sort of feeds the people that end up on those ships yes okay musical theater yeah. so like there's a lot of that it's not only through. that yeah but but there is a lot of that and that's also very different and what what we do here is i mean i reckon the reason i got this so quickly was because of the experience i had here doing this mm -hmm. it's almost like i said it's different but it's almost exactly that it's that yeah it's that interaction it's the entertainment is everything yeah. it, but it's only just slightly more important than the quality. Yes, yes, You can you can be you can be boring and sound amazing. Yeah. Um, but then people are still bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then you need to kind of you need to do that thing where like like okay, first of all, I'm gonna entertain you. Yeah. Second of all, it's probably gonna sound good. Every now and then it might not sound good. Yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna sound good. <laughs> We're just gonna carry on anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this stood me in very good stead for that. And you, you had, but I mean, you had to learn a whole lot of new stuff as well. Jeez, man, the rehearsal schedule was. So I got there. I don't know if you recall, I was very, I was quite sick when I left the country. Yes, yes. My, I had no voice. You're a mess when you left this country. <laughs> I was. I, 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 I didn't sing for about a month. I think my body just had a burnout. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think, think you, you were a mess. You were a, a, a emotional, physical. <laughs> I was just a mess wreck. when you left. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I, so the first, the first day we got to the studios, um, um, so I'm getting kind of, yeah, yeah. So uh, um, the rehearsals, yeah. Yeah. So we started off with a different female vocalist, yeah. and then uh, HR switched her out with someone else after okay. one song. Wow. So the other one, the other girl didn't come. Now I'm sitting there. I prep maybe ten songs, which you, for us ten songs is a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, and then we get there, and then they start throwing songs, and we're like, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, and I couldn't sing half of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, the rehearsals were eight hours, Jeez. six days a week, eight hours. Holy crap! And we were doing what they called the midnight shift. Yeah. So it was from four p.m. American yeah. time to midnight. Oh. So that was, that was the equivalent of me starting a rehearsal at ten o'clock in, in the night and yeah. finishing at six o'clock in the morning. Jeez, like so by the end of it, I was like, <laughs> finished. Yes, like I said. Was, I fixed someone's PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> so what was that? Uh, I don't think I remember. I always remember one time I was very little away and came and fixed our PlayStation. That definitely sounds like something I would do. Uh, oh, that's Enzo. <laughs> oh, no, it's the way of the warrior. The warrior. <laughs> that's the one we still use. That we use that song for the uh, way of the warrior. We use that song for our intro when we do it because it doesn't get any copy, copyright strikes. Yeah, I see Alexander Hart is asking for burn questions. Oh, oh really? <laughs> what, what burn questions? For burn questions. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, if you, if you, if you, uh, to answer the question, that's probably not going to pop on the screen. If you form a relationship that's very close with someone else, you have to like inform HR. Oh. So I know everyone had a specific idea about that, but that was uh, never the case. Oh, right. Okay, never, okay. Never. And that's, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. That's got, all I have to say about that. Yeah, pop cap. Yeah. Um, you know, what's... Uh, hey, Dion, what's the movie? I've got a gig already. I've got a Dion, I'll give you a shot. Please, <laughs> I, I, I was still... Oh! Uh, okay, so, so when, uh, when uh, Gary's, Gary's managed to find... Okay, this is something special because I hadn't seen this... Um, um, I, I, I haven't seen it. Yeah, our very first, our very first Magnificent Seven show um, with the, it was you and myself, Donovan, Mike McCauley, um, Rory, Do, Do, and Candy. Rory, Candy, Eloise was there. Yes. I think Donna was Donna there. Was there. Yeah. I think uh, Lalani was. No, was it was. I can't remember. But um, a whole lot of, uh, um, of, of, this is probably 2006. 
2007, 2008. It's earlier than that. So amazing, about 15 years ago. And we've got, we've got a clip. Let's have a look. Let's have a quiz. So young, so young. Friday the 10th and Saturday the 11th of May at the Hellenic Are we doing two? We're doing two. Uh, at Magnificent Sevens, we're going to do them. And uh, booking's open on oh, Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. 
And then CCR, we're going yes, to do it. Eh? That's right. That's right. Creedence Clearwater de Bravo with Wayne, with Wayne Dunn. We've got Mike McCauley coming up from Cape Town. That is going to be insane. That is going to be fantastic. That's going to be, and that, that is also one of our favorite shows that we've ever the done. Credence, the Credence show. And we're going to do that at the bowling club, at the PE bowling club on Friday, the 24th of May. So put those dates in your diary 10th, 11th of May, and the 24th of May. Sergeant Pepper won't be with us. Sergeant Pe- oh, you know, <laughs> Cliffy. You'll be at home listening to Sterling stuff like yes. Max Bygraves and Virulin. <laughs> Virulin. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cliffy, of course, was um, was the one who, who did our original Max 7, but we've got uh, some video inserts for that as well. And the band will be there. And, uh, and it's going to be great fun. I, I think it's uh, – I'm looking forward to it. And especially the Credence is, is, yeah. a, is one that we've always known and a kind of um, – uh, the, the songs are always they're always in the head you know yeah yeah they just need to be brought out every yeah, night it's just again. such a it's such a good vibe it is it's amazing i, I, I get carried off i can get carried off by that this clip is golden that yeah. clip is golden that clip is golden you're right you're right so you're looking uh, well you know not much younger than today you know Pat. oh okay well now everyone's kind of leaning into that <laughs> there we go the youth the youth uh, the queen tribute of course we did the queen as well it might have even been the queen show it could have, it could have been a queen because that was the queen show that was the queen that show the you're queen quite show, right yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we did that in Magn- magnificent seven but we also we did that in the queen show too and that was with lalani did, did, which uh, one came first I th- no it was it was the mag seven was our yeah, first uh, first one yeah yeah oh uh, hey lynn. lynn look how young you all were i know it feels like yesterday you're bloody right oh philip is emotional <laughs> and lynette seeing lynette oh, oh sure. taryn uh, yeah, Darren, she lives in Jersey now. Yes, with Clinton White. Yeah. How's that? Oh, I'm flipping my mate from up the road. You all uh, look so laid back and cool. I think you mean young and not old is what you mean. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alan <laughs> McWilliam, I was bring back many memories. You're right. But we're doing it again, 10th, 11th of May. So we, we, we're in, we're in, and we're going to give it horns. Yeah, yeah that's going to be good. I that's going to be good. cannot wait. I cannot wait to do that show again. Um, it's, it's the last run was the, was, was the infamous uh, load shedding yes, incident. The load shedding one where we had everybody with their, with their phones out and, and singing a cappella. Wasn't that cool? Bookings open on Wednesday. Bookings open on Wednesday. <laughs> at, at Cricket. Is that right? Cricket and Wendy. Cricket and Wendy Tompkins Thompson. Cricket and Wendy. Like yes. You can either get through Cricket or Wendy. Mm. If you want to get the, it depends on which seats you want. You know? Ah, Jono. Jono got me <laughs> my first, he got my first, he got me my first gigs in this town. Jono Miller? Yeah. Right, well, I played with Jono Miller in 1990. When was it, John? I, <laughs> I, I started off playing in his breaks on his ovation guitar that he's still playing. My word, I remember. Justin! Jonathan and Robin used to play at the, at It's Country back in the day. It's country. It's country. Right? It's actually, that's before my time. Yeah. I, I was t- I'm t- Grant Wilkinson. I was at Van Licker. Hey, Thank Grant. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's all right. Get yourself a drink and, and join us. We have an electric chat. And okay, so so uh, and and then going back now, um, you you've got another. Yes, uh, I'm here for two months, huh? and then end of May. I'll fly back to Miami. The studios there. Miami. Miami. Let's undo a button before I step out of the airport. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then I'll um, I'll rehearse at the studio for six weeks this time. Okay. And then I'm going on the eight hours a day for six weeks. Yes. Wow. You get one day off a week. You see, I flip and we we spoiled you here. <laughs> then I, I was like, I, I still sit there, man, you, at home. Well, like, our rule was like. You don't rehearse past three hours because <laughs> people start losing concentration. <laughs> <laughs> you got eight hours. Eight, uh, but listen, here, by the end, by the end of it, the people were like, <laughs> "Just get it right." Yeah, it's like, yeah. but now, like, it was worse for me because at that point it was like four or five in the morning, my own time. And I'd only been there for a week or two, and like, I was just by the end of it, I was like, "Sorry, guys, I just I got nothing to give you." <laughs> but then, as it starts, as it starts um, coming together, yeah, there's a there's a massive sense of pride of, of how you. Yeah. And, you put, and then obviously that's destroyed by when you get on the boat and you play it all wrong again. <laughs> what did you love and hate most about being on the boat? Uh, hate is, is, is strong, but you have to be disciplined to learn how to manage your free time. Because yeah, yeah. um, most people don't, but we get a lot of free time because we play once every night, I'd say, let's, let's say we either start 8 or 9 p.m. We'll play three hours, maybe four. And the rest of the day, unless you have a specific duty, is yeah, up to you. Free. Okay. And you can very easily like lose track of what to do with yourself. Oh yeah, yeah. And then then that's a whole. Is that... No, you no, no, you no, can't do no that. Doping. No, you no, you can't do that. Uh, so you so you can't dop. No, no, no. no. Well, I mean, 
people find ways, but no, you don't do that. Exactly. Yeah. Drinking is not a, uh, not a way to spend it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no, 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 spend no, your no, time. No, you'll kill yourself if you do that. No, 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 that's the thing. So, 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 so define to, to while away the time a bit, you know? So, yeah, well, like, but put it this way, like constructive things will be much better. Hmm. So it took me a couple of months to, to get into that. And, uh, You've been writing some songs. I, well, I've, I've been running, but my laptop died as soon as I got there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't carry laughing in there. Justin, boy, Melody, Melody. <laughs> What's that? This over here, I'm like, uh, the, big, the big glass. <laughs> no, that's. Oh, the, <laughs> the boob. The boob. <laughs> it's, a, it's a grapefruit, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, it's a very nice grapefruit, isn't it? <laughs> That grapefruit better come hell done. Oh, that's, our, <laughs> that's our fiction leads poster. <laughs> oh, you're right. Look at that. Oh, Valerie. <laughs> Valerie. Yeah. Obviously, Melody would notice the, yes, grape, there we go, the grapefruit boob. Oh, there's Lelani. Lelani was Cocktails in that Cocktails and DuckTales. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> God, Apparently. Like, no, Melody Tyler says boobies. Yes, it does look like it's grapefruit, for goodness sakes. Where's your mind, Melody? <laughs> yeah. I literally yeah, can't. I can't see unsee it now. Oh, I just, I just see it next to my head. I just see boobs now. It's nice. <laughs> I, I don't want to unsee you it. You rest your head. You rest your head on the on the bosom. <laughs> oh, what kind of music did you get to play? Okay, so there was a fair amount of stuff that we sort of crossed out from us, but there's yeah. a, obviously sailing out from Texas. You play a lot of country music, ah, and we, and we don't hear that stuff here at all. You did that George Strait stuff once. Once actually. upon a time. Yeah. He's massive there. Yes. Oh, all well, well, rippers are Texans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. George Strait is it's almost, it's almost like there's like a spiritual devotion, an almost fanatical devotion to George Strait. <laughs> <laughs> most fanatical devotion to the Pope. Yeah. And um, uh, so we, we did it the first night, you did a, a, just a mix of stuff. Yeah. And, um, but there was a country set. Okay. The second night, you had to dress up in a suit. And they called it Elegant Night, and you play Motown. Motown oh. and Soul. Now that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we don't we don't really yeah. play that stuff yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just seen like Michael Jackson and Marvin Gaye and uh, all these. It's that okay, was that was okay. tough. That was my toughest night. All right. Um, third night was eighties, which I was like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Although I had to learn some Rick James, which was oh, like, <laughs> the fun dude. She's a very sexy. What? Well, she's a very freaking girl. A <laughs> Rick James. Yeah. That's um, <laughs> yeah, what that super freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's he's like another yeah, character. Yeah, no, guy. that was that was fun. The eighties night was fun, mm. and then the the last night we did was always rock night. So uh, it was everything from uh, Led Zeppelin. Da, 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 we did do that a couple of times as well. Yeah, <laughs> take it all We did that a bunch of times. Uh, we did we did some uh, uh, Zeppelin, ACDC, all that type oh, of thing. Nice. Yeah, oh, and then um, and the band. Nice band. Yeah, I mean, it's all guys who had been picked from from okay. around the world okay. as well. So uh, the musos were great as well. And do you, do you find that some acts? Uh, I mean, what were the different countries that you that you're getting from? From uh, what is your band? What, what, what so we we, we kind of had two bands because we um, our music manager was promoted halfway through, oh, okay. and he was the keyboardist. So we so the the first thing they had to do was replace the music manager, okay. and they found a drummer. So they, they said we had to get a new keyboardist and a new drummer. And then also towards the end, we had to get a new female vocalist. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yes, okay. That was so, quite a so long the, the, Yes. The original lineup was the, um, the keyboardist, the music manager was from Spain. Okay. Uh, the drummer was from Indonesia. Wow. The bassist, he was with us for the whole contract. He's from Romania. Uh, the guitarist, he was also with us. He was from the UK. And then the female vocalist was from Portugal. Now it's from okay. South Africa. Okay. And then... After all that change, we got a, a keyboardist from Argentina. Oh. The drummer was born in Congo, but but raised in Canada. Oh, wow. And uh, the, the the female vocalist was from Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama, sweet. I think Jennifer Lynch is from Alabama, isn't she? I can't remember now. Is it Carolina? I can't remember. It's one of those ones. <laughs> <laughs> southern states. <laughs> one of the Alabama. southern. Alabama. Is Alabama and there must be southern, surely. Of course it's With southern. Drawl. Southern man, no need him around anyhow. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Sweet home Alabama. You know how many times I just stopped myself uh, calling it what McCanyon and I used to call it? <laughs> Do you remember that? I don't. I don't. But I, I don't certainly know. can't say that. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I called it there once or twice and they got like a raised eyebrow. All right. Sorry. I'm <laughs> yeah. slip, slip of the tongue. 
but I tell you one one thing I did notice is that the quality of the people that, that work in this town, yeah. um, they could stand toe to toe with a lot of the guys from around the world, okay. and I'll so, I'll down that hill. Like, yeah. It's, so, so I mean, so with the quality of I mean, musos in in clubs, oh, Kleberga, Kleberga, they're absolutely fine. Uh, tell us about the uh, some of the, the guests. I mean, because that that must be tough. You're used to your, your cultural yes. the cultural difference. Yes. Um, you, you've got. Americans, what? So we 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 had the majority were Texans, okay. Um, but obviously there's a whole bunch of cultures within Texas as well. Uh -huh. Like we, we found uh, very very early on, like for instance, the, the, the black people in America take the Motown very seriously. Oh, okay. Like it's, it's sort of it's almost like like it's it's like a, a, a sort of cultural hymns to them. Okay. Um, okay. And then the Texan people, uh, the the cowboys and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, take, they take the country music very yeah. very like very seriously. Like we we had a one one chap he, he booked back to, this is something they used to do with a, with a um, short cruise he booked yeah. a back to back cruise yeah you would come sit us watch to watch Jeez, us every night yeah they do that <laughs> and then um then you kind of get to know them yeah and he asked us for a song by a guy named Johnny Bush who I'd never ever heard of we went like no we don't know Johnny Bush and he went well so uh, Carnival has a charity they do a lot of work for called uh, Saint Jude okay. so it's it's a children's hospital. All right. And so every the last day, the last seed of every cruise, you, they sell T-shirts and take donations. Okay. And he said, if you guys learn this song tomorrow, I'll give a thousand dollars to the to the, the, to, the, to the yeah the yeah just, yeah wow. And okay. so we did it. And I've never heard that song in my life before. And he paid, he he did what he said. But most importantly, twenty people, grand people yeah, yeah. <laughs> people rage to that song. Wow, like I've never heard it in my life before. So they take that yeah. they take that very seriously. So one of the other things I had to do. Is kind of forget everything I'd learned here about yeah. about uh, like what's popular, how people what's respond not. to things. Yes, yes. So like, there's a lot of songs we play uh, like every night, and they won't. Yeah. Obviously, this there's the Sweet Carolines. Okay, I still like that. Yeah, it still works. Okay. Yeah. So good, so good, so yeah. good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. so it's funny. I just saw I saw uh, Taryn's question. Like, yeah, to me, is. to me, the biggest challenge was learning how to manage my time. Yeah. Uh, besides, obviously, the other thing was learning, having to unlearn a lot of habits that weren't necessarily bad habits here. Yeah. yeah. But for what I was doing there, they weren't they weren't okay. the best. Okay. So, um, so I, like, I, I worked a lot. In, like in my free time, I did study. The, I started recording, sort of like little songs in the cabin. Yes. I bought myself a nice little microphone, and I've got the recording set up on my iPad because my laptop died. <laughs> and um, I have to get another laptop. Yeah. So I started doing that, and um, I started. Working out a little bit because okay. that was that's another thing. That, gyms here, yeah, so yeah. So that was another thing that fell fit. by the wayside initially. Um, and I, I would say halfway through the contract, I, I, I was wasn't doing so well okay. fitness wise. Yes. Wise. So then I, I sort of leaned, yeah, I leaned yes. back into that. Um, <laughs> okay. And uh, so you you find uh, conducive ways, but let me tell you, nothing beats sleep. There's a lot of sleeping. Good sleep. Good sleep. Yeah, do a lot of that. Uh, okay. Cabro Viva okay. Mexico Cabrones. <laughs> Cabrones. Oh, that's Karen Irvin. How's it been from East London days? Uh, lovely, lovely to see you. Slain She's in from, Ireland. From Ireland. I, I noticed that you were in Ireland there, Karen Her Herman. I see your posts every now and again on the uh, on the on the Facebook. It's lovely to see you. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. <laughs> and you know, so, you know, Terence is you know, what do you do with the free yeah. time? So well. I what, so. I, what I noticed, like for instance, uh, I, my cabin mate was was a stage tech, yeah. and he was hardly ever in that cabin, and he's working most of the time. So like I'm there a lot. Yeah. So one of the one of the perks and challenges about doing what I do is the amount of free time you get. Yeah. yeah. So you learn to. I think like one, I might study something next time. Like uh, yeah. Like because yeah. obviously you study online on C exactly. Yeah. So C days C days is when you get all that free time. Okay. Because port days you'll dock and you'll go out and then you yeah you get back on your rest up for the night's work or whatever, but port, a sea days is, is when you you have to start looking for things to do. And you you're playing every day just about. Hey? Yeah, uh, yeah. How, how, I would that, say it's one night off every eight or nine days. Nine days, yeah, yeah like a can nine day cycle. Yeah, can be long. Okay, and and your um, how, how will your your last cruise differ from your upcoming one? It would be the same. No, this one is is different. Um, we're doing eight or nine day cruises. We're leaving out of uh, Orlando, Florida, so it'll be a different crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever that means, I'm still to discover. Yeah. Um, and the old people of Florida, isn't it? 
Aren't they pinching us down there? I don't know. Yeah. It sounds like you're doing a little bit of steering. No, maybe. <laughs> I don't no, I don't know. know. That's, that's what I, I always thought. I don't know. Well, the thing is, Carnival, Carnival kind of pride themselves on being a family, okay. family oriented thing. So, okay. but I mean, speaking of old, the, the, um, there's entire groups of elderly people who live on cruise ships because in America it's cheaper to do that than to live in a retirement home. Oh, yeah. So there's, um, there's, uh, yes, I did. I played lots of games. Uh, there are lots of gaming. Yes. Yeah. And so I did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, oh, Taryn. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so I, I I was lucky, Chad, in that the fact that I worked almost that hard while I was here anyway. Yeah. So um, like I, I, my voice was held up. Quite, I didn't I didn't take off once for, because okay. of vocal strain. Oh. I did get quarantined for a week with COVID. Oh. And that was 100% my biggest, um, my biggest challenge. Yeah. Like keeping mentally positive. Yes. When you can't leave your cabin for seven, we have sick yeah. as well. Feelings. feelings I, know, I, I just had a cough. I, like, okay. um, but like, also once you once you leave, you realize like in that week, life has kind of gone on without you, and you now need to yeah. slot in with the way things are. Yes, that was that was difficult for me. Okay, okay. I'm not knocking the pensioners. That's just that's just the way it is. <laughs> but not the pensioners, dude. <laughs> says no, no, we're not knocking the pensioners. I just think of Dolores. Here we go. I'll never forget when Terry's talking about there. There was um, yes. uh, her and Emily came to. I didn't do it all for you. I helped oh, you. Oh, graphic design project? Did you? Yeah, do? we we did we we did uh, we we studied together. <laughs> Still past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellent. Uh, did, did you come across any of the politics down there? The, the, is it, is it... the gun thing? Yes, gun the gun thing. Gun thing. That people talk a lot about the gun thing, but in terms of the the whole. The actual politics that he's referring to. Yes, Trump and Biden. No, and I didn't get that. didn't get a lot of that. Yeah. In fact, um, it gets blown. It, it possibly gets blown up over yeah, here as well. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. Um, I didn't. Uh, I'm trying to recall if I ever got into a conversation about that. No, I don't know if I did. No, that might also be because I, I don't know this if this is true or not. Maybe, maybe the Texans in that area of oh, they all kind of agree with each other. So yeah. it's not really, a, <laughs> yeah, it's not really, a, yeah. yeah, but um, the, I did, you did you hear a lot, like people talking about, they've got entire like gun cabinets. It's, oh, a, really it's, a, it's, it's a strange sense of pride. Yeah, and it's and almost, yeah, it's, it's almost like the guns are sort of a trophy to freedom. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did hear a bunch of that. It was normally at the end of the night. Because we, we, I mean, we don't live in that, that sort of realm, but then, yeah. you know, so the guns are always like, oh, geez, like, yeah, you know, keep them away from me because I don't want to push that trigger. Yeah, but you, you, you know, what it is. It's, it's almost, it's almost like a, like I said, it's, it's not actually about the violence that these things yeah. can cause. It's more about like it's self protection. Protection. Even that, it's, it's more like a sense of, a sense of uh, independence. Like, yeah. like I'm allowed to do this. Don't you dare try and stop me yeah. from doing it. And, yeah, and that, yeah. that is, that is something that I didn't really learn until I was there. Yeah. Um. Also, saying that, it's not something that I came across. Uh, Lindy, yeah. the tequila was great. Even the cheap tequila in Mexico is amazing. <laughs> Even the Jose Cueva in Mexico is amazing. Oh, really? You don't get a little shot glass like this. You get a thing like that. You said the beer is no good. Ah, the, the American beer I didn't like. Okay. The Mexican beer was slightly better. but And no brandy and coke. <laughs> no, 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 so the first night I went to the crew bar um, and I, I said, can I please have a double brandy and coke light? And I went, um, we don't have brandy, we don't serve doubles, and we don't have coke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I was like, wrong. Yeah, I was like, oh, what am I going to drink now? And I said, well, we have Diet Pepsi and we have Hennessy. <laughs> so I was like, I'm a Hennessy? <laughs> so please, may I have a Hennessy and Diet Pepsi? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> and I sit there like I'm boiling the back home. This would cost me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, the port visits. Oh, oh, they, oh, the port visits. Oh, yeah. did, did you find any interesting port visits? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm jumping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, um, I said Gary's putting on questions every yeah, now and yeah. again. Yeah. Well, they were all interesting. Um, th- this particular cruise, we only had three Mexican stops. It was Cozumel, yeah. which is very touristy. Okay. Progreso, which is strange. Progreso is almost like it's it's touristy, but only a small section of it. Okay. And then Costa Maya, which is. Almost it looks like it's no, it looks like it's not finished yet. Oh, <laughs> they haven't finished it. Co- Costa, Sorry, uh, we're still busy with this. <laughs> Costa Maya was basically uh, there's the port now, the ports are always the most, but in Costa Maya, the port has got everything that the tourists might need. Okay. There's a big swimming pool, there's all the bars, all the shops. 
Wow. So we catch a taxi um, down to a place called National Beach Club, which was like a restaurant on a beach where you could get massages. You could go, oh. you can get a massage, yeah. <laughs> you can go swim. So we would spend the days there. Cozumel, there were a bunch of options. Um, that was definitely the busiest one. Progresso was almost like you just go there to have like a lunch or something. Yeah. So you, you catch a, a shuttle from the port. Yeah. It's about uh, 20 minutes into, it, it, it looks yeah. like you're driving into the Port Elizabeth, like into okay. the harbor. And then, then the town is, is very quaint, if I can use, but then there's like the, the strip, <laughs> South African yeah. accent, the yeah. strip, the, the, the main drag along the beach is where all the restaurants and stuff are, but yeah. that's pretty much all there is to do. I mean, obviously you can catch a taxi to deeper places or you can yes. go see the, the pyramids or the, all the Aztec stuff, the mines. Yeah. And, yeah. But, I uh, love that history yeah, stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't get the chance to do it, but I, I'm, I'm my chip also stops oh, in in or something. Okay, do so that. you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose as you and as you stop, you get used to how you can get there, how you can get back, you can time it properly. Lani, oh, <laughs> surprise! You didn't send us a video message. I know. <laughs> if someone doesn't ask this, really, does the ship bump? Okay. <laughs> I mean, is it smooth sailing or rough ride? Uh, well, I, I can answer both those questions for you. Really. I don't know what, <laughs> what she's getting at. You know, yeah. wait. So, so the, the, the roughest, <laughs> the roughest it got, it was pretty bad. Like I, I stayed in bed because um, you get a thing they, they call it. Uh, 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 they do concert something, concert show or concert mode or something. Yeah. So where if people, um, if people can't actually stand on stage, they just put the chairs down. So we didn't actually do that, but the, you get what they call the playlist. So they do like a, like a song and dance show on the, in the main theater. They often, if the ship was very rough, they would just, they can't dance. Yeah. So they just sit down and sing. Okay. And um, <laughs> once or twice it was, rough. once or twice it was bad. Wow. Like you can go down, you can go down to the bottom. There's just a big bucket of seasick tablets everyone can take from. Oh, okay. And, uh, but most of the time, I mean, you get used to it. What's weirder to me is at the beginning, you're walking around outside and you can still feel the world rocking. It's like. <laughs> Now you can actually you can actually see it yeah 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 so sure. that is that is very interesting so you don't have a problem with your sea legs no no yeah. that goes away very quickly yeah. like like now uh, <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> <Be on. laughs> like now now like when i got off i don't feel that stuff anymore yeah. like okay um but when, when you get onto land i found it was like, that's what i'm saying yeah, 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 that, yeah, that yeah. went away quickly okay yeah, yeah. like the first couple of like I, I, you can actually your mind you can see the world moving yeah <laughs> but obviously it's not because yes. it's not an earthquake like <laughs> so, yeah. so uh you, but you do get used to that yeah um i didn't struggle too much with seasickness okay but i it, sometimes i got dizzy i guess but the okay. tablets kind of sorted it out so nice. i didn't the only thing that irritated me was that the, the ship would creak. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you're like lying sleeping in your... <laughs> and you're like, what's creaking like that? Oh, it's the walls. Never mind. <laughs> you can't stop it. So like, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought myself a pair of noise cancelling headphones and just <laughs> hope for the best. And yeah, always the technology. It's, uh, ah. Do you get homesick? Do you get homesick? I did get homesick every now and then. Like, there's a lot of things we're blessed with over here. That you don't really know about until you get out like like the food for one thing like number one cheap food i mean uh, fresh food yeah. is expensive uh, so you can't just go out and buy like a bunch of fresh veggies or like that'll cost you uh, fast food always. yeah like, like um the closest i could get to fresh food was was canned and frozen when i was sure. in miami okay. um you wow. can't just go out and buy fresh stuff because it's bloody expensive, it's expensive yeah. sure and that's why like it's, there's a massive culture of fast food because it's cheaper yeah. cheaper and easier yes um obviously south africa is, is a uh, specifically pe has a very laid-back way of life yeah so the first thing i did when i got home was i lit a fire and i sat there and just did nothing the next morning <laughs> you get up and you drive to spa and you buy what you need and like oh that was only about five dollars <laughs> now is it spa no no i'm talking about, I'm talking about yeah <laughs> okay, hey, right. you, it's walmart there uh, walmart, yeah. walmart and target yeah. um and just this African vibe, man. Like yeah, yeah, this, yeah. We, we've got a very yeah. The fresh, the fresh stuff is, yeah, is yeah. certainly. I mean, look at the farms right here. We've got yeah. um, a whole bunch of people in town yeah. that that sell fresh produce coming from a farm all the time. Yeah, and, um, and it's, uh, it's it's really. So the one thing the Mexicans did remind me of the Mexican people is that they're very proud of their culture, and that's a yeah. sort of African thing. Yeah, and that made me like like miss you know like you walk it like in Mexico you get off the boat and there's someone standing in like old Aztec like oh, okay. yeah and yeah. they've got all these these cultural things and that, that's 
that's the sort of sense of pride people have here as well. Yeah. So that reminded me of that. And you, you just, South African people are, are a different vibe. Yeah. Like yeah, you, yeah. like you, if you're on the boat and you hear an accent, you're like, <laughs> right, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, uh, you take, t- kind of tend to gravitate. To I it. see uh, Clinton, Clinton White, uh, legendary soccer. It was his birthday. I believe it's your birthday as well, Clinton. Fantastic. One of the soccer legends from PE. If you do at one song to play together, what would be on the 24th? You're failing. One song to play together. Yo, are you going to get the guitar? I know what it is. It's this. What is it? It's this. It's hey, hey, on the highway. Go into the show. <laughs> <laughs> It's a long way to the top if, if you, you want to rock and roll. Where's your bagpipes? Where's your bagpipes? <laughs> I love it. We did that song once with bagpipes and everything. It was fantastic. Stuart Portetta. Yeah, I'm the other way, bro. We still have a South African accent. So what about you? <laughs> so what, what, what tends to happen is the South, African, the South Africans still sound the same, but when they leave, everyone else is swearing in South African. <laughs> <laughs> so we kind of influence other people more than they yes. influence us. <laughs> yes. Oh, my word. It's really funny. Nice. How long do you see yourself doing it? You see, it's difficult for me to say right now. Uh, I need to see how, like, for instance, obviously now, after six months, I've had enough of that for a bit. Mm. I need to see how I feel going back on, to, if that recharges me for another six months. Yes, yes. yes. So, uh, like, the thing is, the, the, obviously, earning dollars is, is a very blessed position to be in in, yeah. in this country so I, I financially i'd, I'd want to do it for as long as i can yeah, yeah, plus yeah, the yeah. travel and the meeting different people um yeah. so it's a I, different world it's like a different man i tell you, what, yeah. you you don't know what day of the week it is you can try now people they'll say things like you go to the doctor and you'll say uh, okay i'm gonna book an appointment for you next cosmo they don't talk about weeks they don't talk about days come see yeah. me next cosmo cosmo yeah so it's, it's other no, it's, it's the, the port it's other it's other invocation day which is day one, then there's C day one, then there's Cozumel or wherever we, Cozumel would always be the first stop. Okay. And then they say Cozumel or Costumar Progresso or whatever, then there's C day two and there's Invocation Day again. Yeah. So then we will say like, if, if you think about last, the last cruise, the same particular day, you say last week. Yeah. And everyone knows what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's not a week as in a week. <laughs> it's a cruise as like, like all. Like all this stuff stops to, stops to exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop so, to exist. Yeah, like you don't worry about the. No, day. I was talking about your grammar. <laughs> stop to exist. All this stuff is stop to exist. <laughs> is that wrong? Right? It stops yeah. to exist. It stops existing. I mean, you to be, to be thank you, Dimi. Says welcome. Up. Thank you, Mimi. You didn't stop Mimi to Rob. exist, you guys. <laughs> she was also thinking about Philip was as well. Oh <laughs> my! Did you no watch? one cared about the rugby world cup. No one cared. No it. one cared. I watched it. Uh, the, Alone the, yeah, in my cabin, <laughs> and like I am, um, there was there was there were two or three Serbian guys that they like I had three jerseys and they borrowed my jerseys. And, okay, um, but I, I literally I, I sat in my cabin. I, I brought you're allowed to bring a six pack of beer. Yeah, I brought a six pack of beer for those for those three matches that we won by one point. Yo, that was bad. Man, I I, I was drinking. I was just <laughs> like by the end of it, I was like crushing the can, and then like we really won. I'm in my cabin in tears. Someone knocks on the door and I open it and they're like, what's going on in here? <laughs> what's going on in here? I'm like, we just won. They're like, George down the kick. You, you won what? <laughs> George that, that, that match, I'll never forget. Man, One of my so bandmates good. knocked on the door yeah. and, and I opened it, but my knees gave way and I just, I, like I was sort of off on the floor because yeah. she, she knocked on the cabin door maybe about 10 seconds after we won. And I was like, <laughs> Because I, I just got into that, you know, that, that, that famous African stage of just being crampy because we were losing. And then right at the end, I was like, my, and then um, no one cared. No one, yeah. it's not a thing there. The cricket's <laughs> yeah. a thing. And Super Bowl. And, uh, Super Bowl. Okay. Like uh, the Americans, we had, to, we had to actually schedule the the, um, the entertainment around the around Super Bowl. The Super Bowl okay. And we, no one spoke too much about uh, Taylor Swift before you ask. Oh, okay. Well, I don't even know that whole story. I don't know. <laughs> She's dating she, dating one of the guys. Oh, one of the guys. Dave. Okay. Dave, hey, what a beaut. You and my and the chap, you did a gig three three weeks ago with the center stage in front of Seagull Race. Oh, Dave, yeah. Dave, tell me about that. It was that. such fun, man. Uh, Dave, that was magic. We had 64 Seagull, seagull yeah. motors. Yeah. There's ones that go, and we had a race. 
I saw that, that. I saw the photograph. In the storm, it was like oh, we got swamped. We nearly sank. Man, we get uh, towed back. It sounds like we got towed back, and we were freezing cold. <laughs> but, but we made it. Then Dave took me on a boat with him and two reprobate mates of his that flip and I'm lucky I survived. I think I saw the photographs from that as well. All right. <laughs> Holy yeah, drinking on the ocean is a, it's a skill. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Even on the river. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so so on now and then off you go back again to to yeah. the next one and, yeah. and uh, but I've still got seven weeks here, so I'm still a lot of things to do. No, and, it's like, and, and and this hopefully will be a, a little bit of a recharge for you as well. You know? Is uh, I lent uh, see Nikki, I lent my jersey to Josh. So that, <laughs> oh, they, uh, to Josh. Yeah, he was in the same boat as me. What, boat. what are the chances? No, so yeah, so yeah, um, is Nikki from B? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no yeah, way. So is Josh. I think he's EMP at the moment. Oh, no way. So he's on the same boat. Really. And uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the technicians was from Motherwell. Oh, no yeah, way. Yeah, no, from, like I said to him, you signed uh, Eastern Cape, and he went, yeah, bro, Motherwell. <laughs> 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 yeah, bro, Motherwell. I was like, no, what are, what are the chances oh, no. he's from Motherwell? Oh, yeah, but yeah, it's, I suppose it's so easy to pick the oats out. Tracy, Tracy Lombard saw us saying, how's it? Oh, oh my Tracy. Tracy, that's my cousin. Oh no way! She's in Cape Town. <laughs> Cap stuck. Yeah. How's it going in the Cape there? Is your roof still on? Yes, they've had some hectic stuff down there, Tracy. Are you safe? Have you marked yourself safe, Tracy? Was there uh, the storm there? Yeah, oh, hectic, hectic storm. I missed it. There was stuff blowing, people blowing off. Flipping. When was this? Um, uh, what's that? What's the, the thing that comes down the mountain there? Solaris. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, Solaris, Solaris Pass. Pass. Yeah, like a whole caravan going over the side. And Jeez. Trucks uh, how did I miss all of that? No, hectic. hectic was hectic it before stuff. I got that? No, no, no. Yesterday. Oh. Yesterday. Oh, I must <laughs> have been drunk. Sleeping. <laughs> I was drunk or asleep, okay? You have to have a look. What you have to pay for in News 24 now, you see. So that's oh, that's why I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I don't know anything now. Pay for News that's 24. It's a bloody cold. Yes, I know. He's probably sending it our way as well, Tress. And uh, oh, there's Grace. Oh, here. Grace! Grace, thank you. We, we, we had some of your chow here as well. Lovely. All right. We're no, gonna... no, that's not Grace. That's Grace. That's, that's Grace. That's Grace indeed. That's, is that Grace? No, that's a different Grace. It's a different Grace. It's Grace and Grace Erasmus. Oh, no, yeah. It's two Grace Erasmus. Oh. No, no, it's she not, doesn't not work for fake cats. No. Grace. Okay, it's also Grace Erasmus. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we, we've got, we've got uh, the getting to know you questions. I know. Oh, okay. Questions. Let's so, do that. So we've finished with all the all the work and stuff. Obviously, we've got the shows coming in. I can't yes, wait. That's going to be great. Can't wait for the shows. That's going to be great. That's, uh, yeah. But okay, so we're going to do the getting to know you section. Some getting crazy questions. Properly professional in this place. Get we've got, this. Jing got jingles. Good and drinks, jingles, catering. <laughs> The whole lot. Man, the, bees come a long way. Yeah, no. <laughs> since you left, you since know, I left everything's you know. coming right. The money's going to the right place. Yeah. All right. Um, the biggest risk that you've ever taken in your life was this. This, this, this was, uh, going. Because um, obviously, I'd built a career and a name in this yeah. time. Yeah. And I mean, it could go either way. Like, I get here, people still they want to hear me sing, whatever. Yeah. But I could just easily go back and no one really cared who yeah. I was. Yes. And I didn't know how well I would adjust to that. Yeah. So yeah. I was giving everything up for the idea of something else. Obviously, it, it panned out to, to be better than just right. an idea. Yeah. But man, yeah. like the day I left town, I actually on, on the plane from P, I just broke down and started crying. Yeah. Because I just yeah. pressed stop or pause on a life I've been living yeah. my entire adult life. And stepped out into the unknown, yeah. where I was nobody <laughs> or anything, and that was that was scary, man. Yeah. But you know, when uh, like I mean, looking from the outside as well, your mates looking in, you know, um, uh, you've you've always been that guy that that um, doesn't surprise me that you can do that because certainly it's it's like uh, uh, you that guy that goes for it, that just go, you know, hey, got an idea. This is a like idea. Let's give it a try. You know, you're not scared to do that, and that's such a it's such a good thing to have in you in, in your in, within your flipping soul. You know, it's so weird to hear that because man, it's yeah. it's scary no, every of course. time. It's scary it is, every time. it is, and and but but I, I I've always seen that in you. Is that is that that uh, thing where it's whoa, what the hell? Yeah, give it a, give yeah. it a go, really. Yeah, and, and that's that is what I did. Like yeah. I, I literally, I saw the ad, and I was booked. I was booked to be employed three weeks later. It happened in that short. I didn't. I didn't have time to think about it. I just yeah. was like, "Am I going to do this? Let's just yeah. do it." And at that time, you know, I was. I wasn't. 
all together. Yeah, I wasn't no, all together. It was a mess. It was a complete <laughs> mess. And and uh, but but and that's why I, I, I also I thought. I mean, I, there was there was no doubt in my mind that it was the right thing to do at that time. You actually so so you had a problem, you solved it. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So yeah. that's the way you do things. When, when with with COVID, the same thing. You did the same thing. When, you know, when I see you fixing something, <laughs> Enzo say you're fixing a PlayStation. But, uh, you well, know, I'm a guy who I've, dives I've, in there, man. I've always said that, and the reason I think I'm good at solving problems <laughs> is that I'm even better at creating them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a master problem creator, <laughs> so I have to learn. Man, I tell you, if, if you hear some of the ways I've gotten through some difficult situations, <laughs> cello tapping, gubble, bubble gum, bubble gum, gubble bum, gubble gubble bum, bum yeah. <laughs> like, like you, if you, if something I did one time, I did lose my wallet one time. Oh my word! Oh, yeah, and, and I lost my wallet. And so to so once you once you leave the country on yeah. on the ship, yeah. your status when you come back becomes entered via sea. Okay. So you have to have a document called an I ninety five. It's called an I ninety five. So when you get off any port, yeah. you show the I ninety five. Okay. And to replace the I ninety five is four hundred dollars. Okay. And the one day, I, my wallet dropped out of my bag, and it had on board on board. Yeah, okay, okay. And it had my I ninety five in it. Oh. And uh, I, I thought I knew where it happened. And I, I checked for, for two or three days. It didn't pitch up. Okay. Now I'm like four hundred dollars is a lot of money. Man. Oh, it's a lot of money. Yeah. They phoned me for, like from guest services, and they went, "Hi, is this way?" And I said, "You found my wallet." <laughs> <laughs> yes, come and get it. Oh, you know, yeah, that's that was right. the only time I lost anything on the show. Well, you beat me because I actually lost my wallet in Madagascar. Oh, did you? Well, I think I could lift it. I think I could lift it out of my pocket as well. Yeah, there is a, yeah. but uh, this I knew because I actually that day I'd taken my because you you can't the internet is notoriously unreliable, yeah. so I, I had a Google Fire account on my phone. So I'd taken my PlayStation down to the crew bar and connected to my phone, and that was in my bag. And I thought that obviously what had happened is when I took my PlayStation out the the uh, wallet, and that is exactly what happened. <laughs> but it took three days to get back. <laughs> that was not a fun time. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, uh, there we go. Another There's one. Beautiful things uh, that I've got. Uh, the beauty, these beautiful things that I've got. What I don't know that? what that is. I don't know what the. Where's that from? Beautiful things that I've got. I don't know. <laughs> Leslie Jacobs, Sergeant, the weather's been terrible. The schools are closed tomorrow. Is that Cape Town? That's Cape Town. That's Paul. Oh, She's in did. Paul. We love you, Wayne. I'm so proud of you. You've come so far. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, that's excellent. Okay, so uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Damn it, man. Oh, we haven't even done any of these yet. Oh, we did. We did. Oh, no, we just did one. Uh, let's see, the luckiest thing that ever, that ever happened to you. The luckiest thing? Can you think of a lucky thing? It's hard because I don't consider myself a lucky person. <laughs> but, but I think a lot of times things have happened where I think, like, geez, that could have gone the other way. Yeah. COVID. Yeah. COVID. You see, like, calling that luck is, yeah. like, to me, I just didn't have a choice. I, did, I had to do something. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I completely bypassed all of that because, yeah. because of a decision that I made. Yeah. Um, and I, I used to say I was lucky as well. And the, uh, it was you guy the one day said yeah. to me, yeah, but remember, you, you make your own luck. You make your own luck. It's true. And, like, it's true. But I, I don't consider myself a lucky person. I, I had the weirdest luck. And funny, my dad had it as well. And I think that's because of, like, things go so wrong for us. And the, but they go even more right. <laughs> yes. Like like yes. What, could, what could have been worse than COVID? And then look yes. what happened. I ended up in a better position than I ever was. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I always think of you saying your dad, your dad go, ah oh, shit. Yeah, you just, yeah. just my dad would just sit there and go, shit. <laughs> and my mom would say, What's wrong? And just go. <laughs> yes. I, I find that. myself doing the same thing. Oh, the Benson Boone. Yes, Taryn, I'm learning that. I'm going to learn that. Yes. What's that? Benson she, Boone. She, she, oh. she sent me a, um, a thing to learn. Oh, okay. um, I haven't oh, done it yet, right. but I'm Benson, going to do it. Yes. Benson yes. Boone. Benson Boone. I will, I will do that with my. I'm going to carry on recording little tunes while I'm here, and that will be one of them. Nice. <laughs> okay, what's your worst travel experience? That belongs to South Africa. Oh, no. Let's just say diesel and petrol. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn. He hired a car. That has, still remains the worst. It uh, was a trip to Da'ar. Da'ar. We were playing. Da'ar. Myself and Tari were playing in Da'ar. Da'ar. And um, we got a rental car and we pitched up at the, at, at calling it a petrol station or a, a gas station. Gas station. Is, is giving it a compliment. It was literally a pump. <laughs> it was a pump surrounded by the ruins of Rome. Like, and um, we got there and I, we said, 
check the, we didn't fact check the menu. And we took the manual and said, okay, diesel, diesel. But the manual is for a different car. And we didn't pick that up. <laughs> so um, we put, we, now we, we had left an hour late because I had a late night the night before. Um, so playing, really playing things late. Else. But I mean, not late, but like yeah, yeah. not, 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 um, fine. Yeah, I mean, not, yeah. So then we, we drive away from the station and the car stops. We're like, oh. <laughs> I said to her, just do me a favor and look on the flap. It says petrol. <laughs> So the guy, the guy, the guy had to come and fetch us from about two hours away. He wasn't happy about that. Yo. And he also wasn't happy about the fact of how late we got there. He just wasn't happy. Yes. yes. And man, we were just clinging on by our fingernails. Like, <laughs> like, I, like that was not a fun time. Oh my soul. Dude. I'm shocked. That you <laughs> to, it didn't involve Gary I'll never that. forget. I'll never forget driving to Port Alfred and the, the, the bonnet of the Sierra blew up, broke off, smashed the windscreen. We had to drive the Sierra back to PE with the bonnet in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> with the bonnet in the boot yes. of the Sierra. Yes. That Sierra's got a lovely sweeping windscreen as well. <laughs> I'm just you like, you know, it's like a gunshot. Oh, no. And then the, 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 the windscreen smashed and the, the, the bonnet is holding on by like one little piece of hinge. <laughs> and we had to, and then we weren't on our way to put, we we're on our way to fan court. Think, no, it was no, it wasn't. No, it was put Alfred. Well, no, we were on the, we were on on the Port Alfred road, yeah. We're yeah. Boston and knock. <laughs> I don't know. We were laughing because we spoke about the time the Sierra pulled into fan court and then the exhaust fell off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fan court. You know, you know you, you, you're really doing yourself uh, so, so good when you, when you pull into fan court. In with, the Sierra. In the Sierra. And then, and then everybody's has got these lekker Range Rovers and flipping Jaguars. Okay, yeah. And they are oh, Candy Gilson tripped to Durban. Oh my well, I would no, I didn't do that. Yo. You guys did that. Oh my soul like, Candy. Didn't, didn't, they, didn't it overheat or something? Yeah. Oh, oh yes, I hope you saw the video, Candy. We we played a video earlier with, with you guys on and it and it was so if you cool didn't watch see. that, go check out Marie. Yeah. Oh yes, oh shit is right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Sierra. Yeah, you know, everybody else is in fancy cars and then we drop an exhaust pipe oh. in the <laughs> You can just imagine all the black smoke that sort of came. <laughs> all the soot. Oh go back, Candy, go back and watch that. Yes, it's you watch that video. It's, it's fantastic to watch. You'll have to check it out at the beginning. Yeah. But, it, you know, yeah. It, and, and uh, I, I mean, there, there are so many memes. There's a million with Donovan, Candy, like the, the, the center stage guys. There's a million memes. Yeah, I remember also driving to East London and Gary's car stopped working and Dave Jackson had to come bring a battery. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then also recently, myself and Tara in the in the um, the Astra, yes, and it just stops working. <laughs> it stopped working. That's a de- that, that's a definitely recurring theme. Man. That was that was uh, two years ago. Did when, the car break down? No, yeah. oh, it just stopped working. The same day that I uh, that I broke my back. Oh, that's oh, right. The same day as I broke. That was my, a fateful I, day. I crushed my spine on that same day. As you, crazy. As, what what as kind as of day is that? Bells, bells. Okay, if you had enough money to never work again. What would your typical day look like? I'd probably still book gigs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, it, that's a strange question because my days are generally free. Yeah. Okay. So that would be different. Yes. But uh, well, I, I, I can't work. imagine that. Yeah, but like I can't. Don't have money. Like, I mean, I don't have to play gigs while I'm back now, hmm. but I'm still doing it because I love it. Yeah. So it's hard for me to say, like, I, I, I would say if the need for money disappeared, my joy for what I do wouldn't. You, you, and Gary's often said this to me: is one one thing Wayne doesn't give a crap about is money. <laughs> <laughs> it's about it's not about the money. Yeah, it's never the, about the, the money. money. Like it's always, yeah. it's the money is good to survive, or whatever. And obviously, you end up playing a couple of gigs for that. Yeah. But I never got into this to earn a living. It just became something I realized I could do by, by doing what I love. Yeah. yeah. So maybe, maybe if I didn't have to work. I would just turn down more gigs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do the ones you're ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is really basically fun. what I'm doing now. Yeah, yeah I've got no, a couple of gigs true. booked. And yeah, it's exactly. just to go have fun and, and just, enjoy. Just yeah. the ones that you really, really enjoy. Yeah. Oh, what about philanthropy? Yes, no. philanthropy. Oh, well, I mean, uh, you, uh, not having to work doesn't mean I've got money to give away. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take things down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Has there ever been a time uh, that politeness or good manners have gotten you into trouble? No, I wouldn't say that. It's an odd question. I don't know where you're going to get that one from. I I, I wouldn't say that because I feel like 
You're not. You're not so much of a. a I'm, you're I'm, not socially. Um, I'm socially not, I, anxious. I wouldn't. No, I, you'd be surprised. But I wouldn't say I'm not like what you would call polite or like like yeah. that. Like I've got a mouth on me. Yes. But I have tact. I know yes. when the right. Well, I mean, well, a couple of brandies and then. Ah, then it yeah. goes out the window. <laughs> but no, like I, I would generally say, like a lot of time, I've been pretty good at knowing when it's time to shut the hell up. <laughs> And when it's time to just say, like for instance, and this this hasn't happened to me, but for uh, like there's a on, on board they say there's a thing where guests get drunk and aggressive. Yes. And if they do, you say yes sir, no sir, thank you sir. You give them the shirt off your back. Yeah. Because we don't want to get into a position where the guest yeah. sobers up and then he's still angry with you. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so you you got to be on just, the right side of that. Yeah. So sometimes you swallow your pride. Yeah. Which I have done sometimes as well, like. I, I realize, look, I'm on the right side of this, but but to to stand my ground now will be to escalate a situation. So yeah, you, so yeah. you stand up. You escalate. Yeah. So and, and that is that's a very important thing. So I, I would say no. Generally, um, tact has stood me in good stead. Like looks like Sir Robin. Sir Robin in the thing. Run away! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I never Robin did. Ran away. <laughs> I never did. <laughs> I never, Run away! <laughs> there we go. Best party night ever in your music career. Go on, party go. night. Well, yeah, best time you ever had. So I, I don't know if party qualifies, and I'll think about that. But obviously, that night where the lights went out, yeah, we had. We, there was another. There was another moment where, like, we had the queen set to go, and the place was packed, yeah. packed, 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 and the lights went out, and we just we had two choices: stop or carry on. Yeah. So we carried on, yeah. and it became. I, I've never, in the twenty-four years, geez, that I've been doing this, yeah. experienced anything like that. It's lovely. Um. And, and I mean, there's been other gigs where the, where the lights have gone out and you get people to care, but that particular night was so organic and, and just, it was amazing. Party night, I don't know, like I've never, parties, I never look at things by, I mean, if a party is good, you don't remember it, do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I would say yeah. um, the, the best the best feeling of cohesion and, and um and like no separation whatsoever yeah. between the band or the audience and, and the entertainers yeah. would be that night. Like that came together. It could not have happened any more perfectly than it did. Yeah, event. yeah, it, 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 was, it, it did. It just, yeah. it was a magical night. Uh, the, the other one I remember is one of the very first. Um, you were talking about the lightning storm. Seven with, a, with a lightning storm. Yeah. In, uh, they, they just put the roof onto the amphitheater yeah. and there were no seats there yet. Yeah, yeah. So we had a thousand plus people hanging on the walls. Yeah. I mean, they were, they were literally, it was packed to the rafters and they had this, this, this roof that was kept on lighting up with the, with the, the lightning. lightning yeah. The lightning yeah. was absolutely amazing. Oh, Lonnie. You know what is that? Yeah. Part, that, that night, we all got drunk. Oh. I got to my car. Someone had stolen my battery. <laughs> someone had stolen my battery. I had to walk home because someone someone um, smashed my window, popped my hood, stole my car battery, <laughs> and like I, the car, I lived down the road. But now it's it's like three in the morning. I've had a lot of tequilas, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I, I could I could phone my housemate, but that's a terrible idea. So I just I walked home, but every step was like. <laughs> the next day I had to go, and um, the next day I had to go back to my car, um, make sure everything is right. Then I had to walk to the battery shop <laughs> to buy a battery, then carry it home to my car. <laughs> so no, that was not a good party, <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> uh, one, one I do remember myself was was uh, the barnyard in in uh, oh in the Bay. liquid candy <laughs> muscle muscle Bay barnyard and uh, I'm sure Donovan and Lonnie remember that she was that was job. Lonnie wasn't there yet. The, the, the show no it wasn't Lonnie it was, no, no Lonnie wasn't there that was that was that was in the original Tara, Tara, Tara and Candy and yeah, Donna yeah, that was when Donna was like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it <laughs> yeah Candy. Candy was also we you got kept awake, but um, we, we found we found a bottle of where, where the show, spray candy. The show just carried on, you know, it just carried on and on, and then the people went home, which is a full house. Yeah. People all went home. We still carried on. <laughs> we uh, salty cracks. <laughs> that's, that's the one. We, um, we found this bottle of of um, uh, uh, it's like that kids candy spray that you spray. Yes. 
And for some reason, we decided to throw all our leftover booze into it. <laughs> and then so after that, we also decided it was a good it was a good thing to spray it into Candy's mouth when she was sleeping. <laughs> Man, I, I don't know how she didn't dip you. Yeah, like, I, I deserve I deserve to be hit in the face. Everybody was getting a bit of brandy. And like, we were like we were getting drunk from spraying. <laughs> like the next morning, we found this stuff is green. The next morning, we found it. It was just this black liquid. <laughs> <laughs> and Candy was asleep, and I sprayed it in her mouth. How you? <laughs> Oh, you didn't slap me. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Okay. In, in what ways do you sabotage yourself? Oh, how much time we got? <laughs> I, I, I I chronically self doubt, uh, but I think a lot of musicians do that. Yeah. Uh, but the big, I would say the biggest way I sabotage myself is procrastination. Yes. I'm, a bad, I'm a poor procrastinator. Self doubt is is a big thing with music. Yeah, it is. It's, a big thing. it's, it's it, you, you you always and but it's with I think with any every everybody everybody's got that element of what do they call it when um, when you insecurity oh, when, you, no, imposter syndrome. Oh yes, you know. I think everybody has you, that you, imposter. I, I, like I walk away from I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll play a really good show and I'll walk away and go. I got away with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But meantime, actually, you know, it's, it, it's you know, you've got to trust your own skills. Yeah, yeah. And and it doesn't matter what you do, you know, it it, it can be with every. And, and I thought about it. Like I often wonder, like pe- like people know me. Like I've got it. I'm known for like my work ethic. Like yeah. Like I'll pull in. I'll do what's necessary. Like yes. like. I often wonder, is that not because I know that I, I, I can't let myself get, get behind myself? Yeah. So I push myself to overcome that, and then I end up giving a good product. Yeah. So if that wasn't there, would I still give the, the same product? Well, also, you've got a loyalty to your mates. And there's one, one thing that I can say about you, Wayne, is that your loyalty to your friends and, and, your, and your workmates is, is second to none. Like, like, the reason why you don't, I think, by, why you don't leave it or just kish out with with a gig or whatever the story is because it's people depend because on the you. people depending on yeah. you and and you never you've never let us down i'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you one thing I, i'm not going to get into it but um on board there was an op- there was a, a someone someone turned on me on board yeah and i needed very much for for people in certain positions to stand up for me and they did Okay. They did it to the point where where they were like saying, "Look, I believe so much in this guy that yeah. that if his fate is this, then my fate is the same." Yeah, yeah. And I just did the thing like, man, this is number one is professional, but you can tell like these guys, they they value yeah. they value me and they value what I do, and, yeah. and they and like and when the chance comes for me to do that for someone else, I I yeah. will do that. Yeah. No, and you've done it time and time again. Uh, and uh, Clinton saying, um, <coughs> "Best singer you've both sang with." Sang with both of you. Both of us. So somebody that we've sang sang with it. It's both. I mean, we've, we've been a lot. There's um, and if we talk, talk about Melvin Matthews, yeah, Rory was a uh, Rory was there. was phenomenal. Yeah. Rory McLaren uh, still is uh, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, uh, Dozy sang with us once as well yeah, at the UP. Yeah, you yeah. had a great voice as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, you did. That I think I think with with the center stage band, um, a, a lot of us sing, you know. Yeah. So, so the, the guys that have popped out the top of that, yeah, 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 yeah. certainly, certainly, uh, Rory um, and and and, uh, and Melvin, yeah, is, is stick out there for me. Melvin was a yeah. monster. Yeah, phenomenal. But and then Donna, of course, Donna, uh, you know, uh, Tara, Donna, you know, they, they, they've we, we've sang with a lot of. A lot of good vocalists over the, over the years, and and um, it's difficult to, to no, it's hard to so hard narrow down because yeah. like you, you get to that level where everyone's good in their own way, yeah, and you can't you can't put one above the other one because yeah. they they do. Dion DeJoy is online now. Jeez, I mean, yes, Dion. Dion in in full cry is like is, is a wonder of the world. <laughs> it's literally a force of flipping nature. Yeah, backstage antics. Um, uh, Gary we, wants to know backstage we antics. We really have. We do. We do. Uh, oh, us, our backstage yeah, antics. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. No, no, we're talking about props. This. Props. We do props backstage. So backstage, when 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 we we've got a gig somewhere, we're normally in a spot. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. a lot of shit lying backstage around. Backstage, it's got so a lot of kind of lie. Yeah, there's a lot of shit lying around always, and there's always something that we can fiddle with. So if you don't know what props is, if it's an old gag from whose line is it anyway, where you take a random thing and you turn it into like a stage prop yeah but generally it's this. quite it's quite ridiculous yeah like, good lord like <laughs> like like the joke might not be worth it but i could take these marks and put them top me and go yes <laughs> they, they would they would cause some the, trouble but the horns 
Yes, yeah. Boom. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hippie. Can I come join your band? <laughs> That's it. Well, props is props is always uh, also takes the edge of of uh, the yeah. nervousness yeah. before before going on. So you find backstage is generally the energy is one of two things. Either everyone is very quiet, yeah, and or everyone is hyper. Yeah. Oh wow, Max. Yeah. Max won't Max remember Greenstone. this. Max won't remember this. Wayne, but, yes. But I, I played. Your dad was the guitarist in my first band. No, is that is that? That's uh, Wayne. W- Wayne's son. Yeah. No and and uh, we used to, we used to cruise around um, to the music shops, whatever. You were in, in the back with in your nappies. <laughs> we used to cruise around to the music shops to go and get um, gear and whatever. Your, your dad was the the first guitarist I ever actually played with. No worries. Yeah. So, and I remember Wayne uh, Greenstone from, from Pop Shop days. I used to work at the music shop and uh, and Wayne often would be in there um, yeah. and playing with various bands, I think. But yeah. I remember when he played. He used to have, uh, he used to, at that point, he was playing this a blonde telly that had a, like a, a stick of a bulldog on it. I'll never yes. forget that. Okay. And, yes. I, and I remember that, like the first, before he asked me to play in the band with him, I, I went to, it was still a chili cafe. Yeah. And um, there was, uh, there he had a band, I think he was playing with Ashley. Ashley Ashington. And, yeah, and someone, <laughs> someone said, hey, ask Wayne to sing a song. And I got up there and I did it without you. And afterwards he went, hey, bro, you should do that for a living. And I said, no, I do. <laughs> 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 and then, and then uh, he asked me for my number and he phoned me. And then we, we uh, started a band with uh, um, Dave. What's Dave's name, man? Uh, what's that? No, Dave Milan? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Dave, uh, Cliffy's son in law. Oh, uh, what's his surname? Dave, uh, Tony. S- yeah, yeah. Uh, what, yes. what is, I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember Dave's surname. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dave. <laughs> I remember Dave was the bassist. We, we, yes. we ended up with a couple of guys on drums. And then there was me and Wayne. Okay. <laughs> and, we, and we played for a while. Yeah. I remember that. Dave. Wasn't you play at the. Um, uh, yeah, he used to, he used to own. Uh, <laughs> he used played to own with, Wayne played with everyone. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. He played. Uh, and, and it was Wayne and Gabby, I think, eh? Yes, that's Gabby. right. Yeah, Gabby. Gabby, I remember Gabby. Too. I haven't seen Gabby in many. Yeah, I haven't seen her for ages either. Well, send regards. Max. Dave Daniels, that's right. Dave Claire, Daniels. Claire, Claire, Dave Daniels. Dave Claire, Daire, Dave Daniels. That's, Daniels. That's a Claire's in the house as well. How's it, Claire? Nice to see you too. Another talented friend. Yes, sir. And uh, what a beautiful voice. Yeah. yeah. And a beautiful person too. We love you, Claire. We absolutely love you. Uh, the music. Yes, yes. Gabby is Gabby is your, your is your mom. Yeah. There's 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 certainly oh, okay. Gabby was my mom. Was it? Was are they, are they, I, I, I don't even know if they're still around. But I, don't know. I, I saw oh, Gabby a couple of years ago, but yeah, um, don't know. Yeah, no, I, know, I remember when Wayne died. It was very sad. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, but yeah, and she was uh, the muses in those days as well. It was uh, the, the music shows and music shops were the hubs Jeez, yeah. for everybody finding. Bands. Fact, that's where I met you. Was it offbeat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> offbeat. I went to rent a mark stand and, and uh, oh, oh, Gabby yeah. died as well. Oh, Gabby too. I didn't know. Wow, that. I didn't know. Well, that. I'm sorry to hear. Condolences. That. Yeah. She was Wayne and Gabby. Life is short, guys. Yeah, yeah, Jeez. yeah. That's that's true. And and looking at the video, I mean, we also blooming young there as well. Uh, in the next, if we had to let the same amount of time pass again, we'd be like, oh no, we <laughs> are like Dolores. Oh, we are we're probably yeah. in Dolores. Um, your biggest irrational fear, young man, is that I just stop being good enough to do this. <laughs> <laughs> like one day I'll be, I'll just not be good enough. We're like, hey, we thought you were a little bit better than this. <laughs> <laughs> Like, how did you how did you get away with it for so long? Yeah, I'm yeah. not paying you for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Just one day it's all gonna crumble around my feet and I will I'll just want I'll be like but I didn't change anything. Did you dream yeah, that yeah. at night? You're like, oh no, yeah. no I wake up in the morning and yeah, Oh no, it's not so bad. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say that um losing my voice always was a fear, but it, that's, that's not irrational. You have that to happened. that you have to work a few oh, times. Man. <laughs> The worst is before I left. I've never yeah. in my life had to cancel work for a month. Yeah. Like my voice usually recovered pretty quickly. Yeah. So I wouldn't say that's an irrational fear, but it's definitely a fear. Yeah. Well, yeah. I remember Donovan losing his voice. Oh no, Donovan couldn't do his, do the gig with him because he had his baby. That's right, he had the that's baby. What, that's when Julian was born. Yes. And Julian, I had to be the lead guitarist. He had to, he had to be the lead guitar player. <laughs> and then, it, like I would play until I, like when I was playing started sounding crap and then Gina would do drum for <laughs> Yes, like okay. I've got I've got a few more questions here. Let's see. What social situations do you dread? Yes, all of them. I have social anxiety. Like 
uh, maybe that's why I was always the flipping class clown. Yeah. But I'm never comfortable in, in groups of people ever. Yeah. yeah. Dread. Uh, answering your phone. Yeah. I hate answering my phone. Oh, is it? That is something I don't have to do on board. <laughs> Gary, Gary tells him he's answering his phone. I hate know. answering my phone. No, rather WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah. Rather yeah. WhatsApp why and he doesn't like to speak. Yeah. Because that's peopling, two peopling. There's that, there's that meme. It's Shrek pulling a grumpy face and it says me looking at someone phoning me. Like, but they say, <laughs> like you answer, you answer their WhatsApp and they start phoning you immediately. Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no I don't want that. Oh, the worst, yeah, the worst job you've ever had. Did you ever have another job? I once was a waiter at Dulcie. Oh, that was, I didn't like that that much. Didn't like that so much. And I also was once a... Did you eat the ice cream? Oh, no. The worst <laughs> job I ever had was my first job. Now, job is a strong word. Yes. I was one of those people that cold call. Oh, no. For like, for timeshare. <laughs> oh, no. <Yeah. laughs> people hated me. I'm sure. They hated me. <laughs> And eventually, I started hating myself. <laughs> yeah, that was for the yeah. two weeks that I for the two weeks that I did that. That was the, like the worst. Renee Ballwood. Hey, Renee. Oh, oh Renee. Oh, we and we miss Mike so as well. She was a miss. Oh, it's another another face legend yeah, from the past. Legend, man. and uh, I tell you what, we miss him every day with City Stage here. Yeah. Um, let, let's see. Okay, well, let's do one more. Let's okay. do it. Uh, your prized position. What prize position do you, do you I don't ski, see you as somebody. No, I think probably my guitars. Shit. My guitars uh, and my amp. Those, yeah. those, like, those are things I can never, ever get rid of. Tell them about it. So I have, uh, uh, my, okay, first of all, my acoustic, I bought, it has a connection to you because yes. it was Brad played that again towards the end of Eminent Child. Yes. And then I bought that probably in about 2004 or five, and I've had it ever since, and you can see it. Yes, it's that got thing holes is, in it. got holes in it, and that's just from being played. Yeah. And then I would say not long after that, I got both my electric guitar, my Strat, yeah. and my Marshall, which is a 1976. It's beautiful. Yeah, so I think yeah. that, like... The Strat, is that, what, 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 what year is that? That's also... It's a 96. 96. 96 Strat. Yeah. It's a beautiful... So that is... That, yeah, shooting. so those are uh, like... I probably couldn't afford to replace but those things. So the, the action is high on that thing. It's like oh, you're going to push down and go, oh, I mean, Wayne his guitar. It's because it's because I'm a rhythm player. You know? <laughs> rhythm. <laughs> so it's it's. I mean, it's got a great tone. Like like people Americans can't even want to say, oh, "What year is that strat?" That's <laughs> that's a beautiful strat you got there, young man. <laughs> yeah, like well, in, in, in the states, you can get. You can, I mean, those things go for a fortune. Yeah, like, like like to replace that now would cost me more than I could possibly yeah. afford to drop on one particular well, thing. That's the thing, and I like the, the, in in the old days back back with Wayne. Greenstone and those guys when we used to pick up strats and old 60s and 70s strats for, for yeah like so you don't find those things anymore because they have all been taken they've all and they've been sold yeah. overseas mm. yeah. what's the most nervous that you've ever been in your life oh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not going to talk about it but the one time I did bloody idols oh idols that was yes, such a waste that was such a waste <laughs> of everything and I, then I would also say um when, do you remember when we did the Rodriguez show? You went, you went in there, and I had I had all those songs to learn. Yeah. And then like it was, it's, I mean, nervous energy is still an energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But I was like, <sighs> yeah, proper. And that was like you don't, um, you don't, um, you, like you, you, it's just you focus on one thing yeah. because you don't want to mess it up. Like yeah. like for instance, yeah, yeah. doing that national anthem, that was another. Yes, I was yes, very nervous, yeah, yeah. but that was a very short period of time yes. to be nervous. But I, that was very nice. Yeah, you got to go through 15 songs or 20 yeah. songs and, you, and you're not sure of the, of the 17th yeah, and 18th yeah. and 19th ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate it. So, you, you just, you, all you can do is keep one eye on, on the, the next step you have to take. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. worry too far down the line. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Okay, your, be, your best drop the mic moment, says, says Gary. Well, you know, I'm, I'm very proud. There's, there was one particular moment that just happened on board now. We, um, we were doing, we had just rescheduled everything and um, I ended up doing a bunch of Queen songs. Oh. And uh, I grabbed I grabbed a, a, a half mic stand I found somewhere. <laughs> yes, which you've done, yeah, yeah. demolished out yeah, yeah, yeah. the past. Well, I demolished theirs now. <laughs> and I walked out into the crowd and I, and I did the, the whole, you know, the whole thing. Really? And people were like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> and it became like a, like, became like a thing. <laughs> yeah, and, like, yeah. I, and like, I remember even the, the girl that I was with, she was, she was like, like when did you start doing that? <laughs> <laughs> so that was, to me, that was, um, 
That was a. Uh, <laughs> it's not even. That was that was that was a moment where I, I was quite proud. <laughs> I literally one day because I used to have this. Donovan, I used yeah, to have this yeah, little so, twirl that I did. A little yeah. mic twirl. Remember that? Yes. A little mic twirl. Yes. And the one day, <laughs> the, mic. Oh, the one day I did it, and the mic flew out of my hand and bounced. Had two bounced, two time bounced on the stage yeah. and landed behind the speaker, and I was just like. Oh. I totally <laughs> I remember that as like yesterday you were walking forward in yeah. you know walking on stage and you did this mic twirl and the, the mic, mic just, just went flying just went flying forward and bounced bounced. Are you, are you I still cracked I still cracked the little the little battery case on the microphone. I know, I know, I know. And, yeah. and Rory, I mean I think Rory broke his flipping ankle. Did he also break his ankle? Yeah, and, and, I and forgot Donna, as Donna well. broke her ankle. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, was, you was wobbling around with a with a, with a crutch. I forgot crutches. about that. Have you ever laughed so hard that it's left an indelible memory? Jeez. <laughs> I've laughed a lot, a lot. Of time. <laughs> that candy swearing at me when I sprayed that stuff in her mouth was <laughs> that was one time. I know I deserve to be slapped. Oh, it's Rory. And um, and uh geez, where did good luck? Oh, Tony phoning Cliffy at, oh, at, at, Barnyard, at Barnyard in Plitz. Oh. God, that was yes, that was very. Oh, we funny. laughed, we laughed about that. Yes, for, Cliffy wasn't laughing for, so much. <laughs> we laughed at Cliffy's wife. Cliffy didn't, he didn't even care. Yeah, no, he, he was he, too many on too many on the oh, man. too many beers down the hatch. And, and both both of them they started like the, oh, there's Rory, Rory, Rory McLaren. What a voice! Uh, hey Wayne, Gina, Gary, what a great interview! So happy to hear with you guys again. Listen to all the great memories. You must rewind on this, Rory. Yeah, have, yeah. have a look at the, in the beginning. We've got a, some footage of you there. That's and, what he, uh, I, I assume that's Gary. What vault? Oh, there we go. You did see it. It was so <laughs> young. Look at Tony. Gracious. A S A. Tony remembers that very clearly. Yes, I remember. And and Tony wasn't happy with Cliffy, but uh, Tony, I'd be forgiving him. <laughs> but yes, as we laughed. Man, that was that was. No, that was <laughs> and he fell on stage in the Beatles. Oh man, I fell on stage. He fell on I fell on stage in Elvis. I fell on stage in the Beatles. I YouTube. fell on stage in in uh, YouTube. YouTube. Fell on stage. In... Oh, you fell off a table in YouTube. I've, I've got that video clip still. <laughs> I'm seeing. I think with or without you, and I, I get off, and the whole table just comes down. Yeah, he stood on the table. The and and then table Dave Jackson, he posted that. Wayne spilled our drinks, but I think I had enough anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Celeste Lange, I look so great to see you back. Oh, there. awesome, oh, so man. Like, so like, so it's good to be back. And Shalita Brousseau, there we go. Awesome to hear you too. Thank you, man, Shalita. She's obviously, obviously up in, in East London yeah. on the farm. On the farm. Everybody's got a bloody another, farm another in Another face London. we met many, many years ago. Yes, and she, she's been doing some photos for us as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic fun. Man. And um, yeah, geez, what, what a, I mean, I, like I said, I can't, I can't wait for the show and, uh, and seeing that video was just something, something special. What's that, Gary? Let's have a look at the video. Oh, yes. Oh, we, we've got the video of the, when the night, uh, the, 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 night, the, the lights went out. So it, in this video, you'll check, uh, uh, Hugo's about to play the solo of yeah. Don't Stop Me Now, and as he's about to play, the lights kick off. Yeah. Like, it, it couldn't have been better time. Absolutely. Uh, Hugo's doing a, uh, which show with us? Uh, Max seven. seven and Max seven and, and, and Queens. Yeah, Hugo's also playing with us as well, so it'd be great to, to see Hugo too. Uh, but, but Gary's right. Well, yeah, the, the lights went out. Uh, the power went off as per usual. It's funny in the in the old days. It was when when power went off. It was so rare. Yeah, but now it's just but see, we, we, had, we, had, we had we had gotten to the end of the show and we only had a bunch of Queen songs left. Yeah, a and of Queen we, songs. so we we basically had we had two options. You. And this is not a, it's not a discussion yet. Yeah. It was the decision was made yeah. on the spot. Yeah. You either stop and disappoint everyone, or you you carry on. Make a plan. And so we something. carried on. We didn't. We had no idea it could have worked the way it did. Yeah. By the end of it, there was eight hundred people in the room. You could hear a pin drop. You could see the, the whole stage from cell phone lights. Yeah, they lit Man. up the whole place with this with the with the cell phone. The, the, I, yeah, no, I'm you're, jumping ahead again. Yeah, you're you're your biggest adrenaline.
Yeah, I saw that. Hmm. Have you seen James in ages? I know. They love it to see him. I'm sure someone sings the story with the mafia. Yeah, I will see the sign like that. It's you! <laughs> My favorite memory is towards the end. And they all, they all want to stand up and clap, and then people start moaning and they sit down because they can't see us anymore. <laughs> Uh, we'll, do we'll, we'll, we'll do that all again. We'll do it in uh, 20, 
11th of May. Yeah. 10th and 11th of May at the Hellenic. I'll have you know, by the way, my fire was not virtual. That was a real fire. My neighbors uh, hate me. Yes. Philip, that was Hugo. The, yes. He just said, hey. That was Hugo on guitar. And then uh, Wayne Gippers in today. Yes. It was a real uh, fire. I actually guitar. sat in, on my, in my front yard playing the guitar. The neighbors hated me. Oh, it was lovely. Uh, Wayne, fantastic to have you Thank on you. the show. Thank you so much. Such a joy. Oh, we're going to do a competition. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do the competition while we're here as well. Maybe we better play a song to go. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we play, play out, play out, play out play? with the song. Oh, let's do, let's do a Creedence song, maybe, for the for the Creedence show. Yeah, back door. What's what, the back what, door? Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I dropped my platter in there somewhere. Platter. Let's see it. 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 let us no, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, that'll be right. What, what are you, you going to ask for your money back if I get the words? <laughs> well, we'll do the competition while we do this. Just got home from the mail, you know, locked the front door, oh boy. Got to sit down, take a rest on the porch. Sub leader of the Harmony no, Sports not. Credence. No, you're not. <laughs> and you're sub leader of stuff. Or a sub leader of stuff. <laughs> Jackie Abbott, thank you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to Fitch and Leeds and also to Amobia for our internet and Fat Cats for our food. And thank you to Wayne Callis for coming on. Absolutely. What a absolute pleasure, pleasure to have you on. It was a joy tonight. I'm looking forward to playing again. <laughs> Lekker, we're going to have a, such a joy. We've got two, two amazing shows coming. Buy your tickets. Yes. And, and, enjoy, and also our big ABBA show coming as well in, in, uh, in, uh, at the Volksfest. So that, that's going to be a fantastic fun too. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> My big moment. <laughs> the big moment in Chikatita. We'll see you guys next week. Next week I've got Rob, um, well, Rob Archibald from uh, from Northfield Engineering on, which is going to be a fantastic. We're going to find out about his journey in Northfield Engineering, what they do, and uh, and his his journey uh, bringing that company with that company as well. Amazing, amazing stuff. So uh, see you next week, Gino Spot. <laughs> We got some more comments coming in. It's, it's your big moment. Day. It's your big moment, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donnie, we miss you. We miss you and Lonnie, mate. We're uh, all the way over in Abu Dhabi, DB. Take your teeth out. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> oh, lekker, man. And, uh, and, and, and lovely to have all the guys online as well. Fantastic to see you see all the all the old names coming through as well. So I'll uh, see you next week. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Fantastic, man. Yep. Relax, sit down. Coming out of PE town. Have a drink, find a shot. Never mind your liver. Get to Gina's spot. Gina's spot. Get to Gina's spot.